Here we have a 2010 Renault Megane five door hatchback dynamic with navigation, starting with the offside front tire. Looking at your tread depth here, we're looking at a good three millimeters in the center of the tire. Looking at the offside front alloys, you can see there's a slight bit of curbing on the outside edge there. Looking around the rest of the alloy again, looks pretty clean. And then again, a very light bit of curbing around the top end of the alloy there. So a potential refurb to this alloy. Taking a look down the offside of the vehicle, taking a good look down there. From this angle, I cannot see any dinks or any dents. Around the offside front arch, we'll just need a little bit of a polish, just some light scratches. Driver's mirror is in nice condition. Driver's door itself, as you can see at the keyless entry there. A couple of minor little nicks in the door edge. And apart from that, the driver's door looks pretty clean. Again, just some light scratches. Both the sills are in nice condition. Rear passenger door, again, looking clean. The door edge is tidy, just one or two light scratches there. Rear arch and rear quarter, everything appears to be in good order there. And the rear tire, a lot better than the front, looking at easily a good four to five millimeters of tread. Looking at the rear alloy, nice condition there, no sign of any curbing or any scuff marks. And then moving towards the rear end of the car. Looking at the rear bumper again, just some light scratches around here. Bit of a touching needing to the rear bumper there, so just a bit of a touching of paint. And as you can see, um, the paint has started to sort of like flake it, if you like. As you can see, started to all these little marks all around the uh, near side rear quarter and arch. As you can see, I've personally never come across this, so it's sort of like a flaking all around the, the rear quarter here, so that might need respraying. And again, some lighter scratches around the boot area will need a polish. Inside the boot, as you can see, you've got your spare wheel underneath the tray here. Nice condition, you've got your parcel shelf, just needs a good valet inside, so that's in good order. Near side rear tire, there's a good 4mm to tread on the near side rear. And the near side rear alloy, again, a nice condition. A couple of minor marks, but no sign of any curbing or scuffs. And then looking down at the near side of the vehicle, again, looks very tidy. No sign of any dinks or dents down the bodywork. Rear door edge is fine. Front door edge is fine, there's no car park chips to either of those. And again, some light scratches on the bodywork. Mirror is fine, front arch is in good condition. And the front tire, again, around three millimeters of tread. Looking on at the front alloy, a little bit of light curbing on the alloy on the outside there. Looking around, the rest of the alloy looks pretty tidy, so very small refurb required. We've run to the front end of the vehicle. A bit of a scuff here on the plastic, again, not much you can do about that. Scuff there on the bottom, that'll need some paint. A couple of stone chips around the front will require some touchings. But apart from that, it looks very tidy and the bonnet looks clean as well. So that's the exterior of the Renault Megane. If we take a look at the interior. Inside, looking at the full cloth interior, it looks very tidy, nice condition with no sign of any damage at all to any of the rear seats. Back of the seats and door panels also in a clean condition as well. Looking on your driver's seat, also very tidy, nothing at all to report there. Front passenger seat's also in a nice condition. Dashboard sense console's very clean. You've got the manual transmission there. And again, the navigation screen. Steering wheel also in nice condition as well. Stepping inside the car. As you can see down here, you've got the two keys. So if you just insert the key there, of course, it is push start as well. Looking at the display whilst we start the vehicle. There we go. As you can see, no issue at all starting the car. That was just my issue not uh, holding the start button correctly. 25,348 miles, so it's very low mileage, uh, especially for a template car. Obviously, it's, it's six years old now, so um, very low mileage for a six-year-old car, which is brilliant. No symbols on the dash, and the car does run nicely. Um, if just go over to the, uh, the map here. As you can see, there's no issue at all with the navigation. That's working perfectly fine, so no issues there. Uh, air conditioning does come out lovely and cold, which is on now, so that's working good. And again, radio is working fine as well. Uh, manual box and taking a look at your documents now. Looking at your V5, it's a two owner car, so two owners on the vehicle. Now the MOT does expire very soon, June 7th, so it does expire very soon, so just be wary of that. There's no advisories from the last MOT though, uh, but the MOT does expire very soon. Looking at your service history, as you can see, we've had the one stamp done at a non-franchised garage at 15,000 miles in 2013. There's nothing shown up on the car, but I can imagine it does need a service quite soon. There we go, guys. That's the lovely 2010, very low mileage, running Megan Dynamic with the navigation, air conditioning, etc. Lovely car with just a little bit of work to do into the outside, just a bit of a mop and polish, and maybe a couple of refurbs.